So my idea is to do a sunset skyline with some silhouette buildings against that skyline. And I'm going to be doing an ocean or river or some water at the bottom. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. You're going to find out with me. So once again, thank you for being here. My swipe tool is going to be the paper towel, but I've also got some flexible plastic strips, which I've just cut out from uh, a book cover. This is just book cover plastic. So we're going to be using those as our swiping tool. But before we get into the swipe, I wanted to show you something that I purchased at my local P&A store that I'm excited to use. So the product is Reeves. And it is an iridescent medium. I'm looking forward to using this medium in some of my acrylic paints. And I will be using it in my next Dutch pour. So look out for that video. Let me layer the colors. I'm going to be using a sunny yellow. A permanent orange. Now before the permanent orange, cad yellow. Then the permanent orange then the red, and then I'm going to be using a brilliant blue. So these colors will form my skyline. And then when we get to the bottom half, when I'm going to be doing the ocean part, I'm going to be sharing those colors with you. So let's get these colors laid down first. And because they are in these bottles, you know by now that this is my Dutch ball mix. So all my colors are mixed to my Dutch ball ratios. And they're quite thin. So let me get this color on the on the canvas and while I do this I'm going to speed you up a little bit Just filling up the gaps with the yellow, making sure that we have enough paint when we swipe. Let's swipe this, paper towel and ordinary water, just dampening the, the paper towel with this water. Okay. I'm going to start at this end. Let's swipe. Let's go for it. Oh, beautiful. Oh dear. Pulling it down a bit towards the middle. Gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful skyline. Just bringing it down a little bit more towards me and then I'm going to take it back up. And I want to actually pour a lot more of that blue off the canvas. Just let that yellow push that blue off a bit and bring it back. Love that. Oh, love it. Just bringing it down again. Lovely. Okay. I want to take it another time over that way. So I'm going to swipe one more time. Wetting the paper towel, taking it from this end, and swiping that way. Just to diffuse the colors a little bit more. Yeah. And getting my edges nicely covered as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Let us torch this. There's no silicone in these paints. Usually a swipe gives some of these bubbles. Some of these bubbles cause nice um, cells and, and lacing. Lovely. All right. Now I'm going to do the ocean. And my ocean colors will once again be the brilliant blue from Dala. I'm going to be adding in some Prussian blue. I will also be doing some Viridian. Nice peachy color, the Viridian. And in between, we're going to be adding some titanium white. And this time, I'm going to be swiping with a metallic white. So, I'm just going to be laying down some of this brilliant blue. And that's the end of that. We need to fold that bottle up. Let's go for the Prussian blue. The Viridian is next. And the Titanium White. Titanium white in between those spaces. Just to get enough paint on the canvas. Now I've got some spaces in between. That is going to be left for my black. I'm going to be using the black to create the skyline silhouette. Let's lay down the pearl white. And I'm going to be swiping with the pearl white. Once again, some paper towel, wet it, and swipe. Okay. 
and gently pull. I have my black and I'm going to be just putting in a, a ridge of black and I'm going to be using this black for my silhouettes. Right, let's do this. I've got different sizes of the flexible plastic and those will become my silhouettes and I've also got some clean paper towel which I'm going to use to wipe every time I swipe I will wipe them clean. So I will go in with a clean plastic every time I've done a swipe. So let's start with the bigger ones. I'm going to use a smaller one now. Just some reflections. Pulling down some reflections into that water. Okay. The last step is to create some 
water lines. And to do that, dip our palette knife into white paint and we create some water lines. So these water lines give the illusion of movement and so it gives depth to your painting. Let me bring you down for a close up. So thank you for watching everyone. Thank you for being here with me. Please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.